Hello, I hope you're fine. Today we'll talk about a deformation using a very uh, traditional and very effective deform deformer, which is called the lattice deformer. It sits right here. The lattice deformer's purpose is to deform geometry in a very simple way, even if the, uh, the geometry is very complex. So let's go for a complex object. We could choose the sphere here, but instead I choose right mouse click a spherical harmonics object. I go to the super uh, shape, poly super shape one, and click on random a couple of times. So I get a random uh, setting of the super ellipse. No, it's a spherical harmonics uh, settings here. I can choose other things as well. It doesn't matter. So this is our uh, object. Uh, it's pretty complex. And if we pick one uh, vertex or a couple of vertices and we move them to this side, it looks pretty horrible. Uh, we can uh, press B to get a soft selection so we get uh, a more distributed uh, deformation. This is all with a complex object like this. It's uh, always a little bit uh, touchy to deform it in a more or less global way. For example, if we want this part to be higher, we need to select vertices up here and move them up. Others follow and they shouldn't follow. So it's uh, a bit difficult, really. We can make the geometry even more complex just for fun here. Mesh, I'm under modeling here. Uh, go to mesh and uh, I smooth it so I have even more now. I want to just deform it in, in, a, in a very elegant way without touching any of the thousands probably of vertices here. So I go with this object selected, I go to deform and I create a lattice deformer. It doesn't do anything it just creates a box around that object and here in the attribute editor you have the basic uh, position of the lattice and here you have the lattice history and uh, it currently consists of two divisions in um, s and five in t and two in u whatever that stu means uh, if we reduce the uh, t value from 5 to say 3 we get only 3 in this dimension 1 2 3 whereas we only have 1 2 in that direction and 1 2 in that direction so let's raise this to 10 which doesn't really make sense but uh, we have 10 uh, points in that axis so I'll go to the very rudimentary setting 2 2 2 because this makes it clear how the lattice deformer works. So um, right mouse click or F8 would be the key on the keyboard. I pick the lattice point. There's only the choice between object mode, which we are currently in, or lattice point. And we have eight lattice points in this setting. And what I can do now is pick one of them, for example, that one, and move it around in the scene. And you see how the soft the geometry deforms. Of course, you can animate this. Let's undo this and select the four here at the bottom. It's not a scaling process. It's a proportional scaling process because the bottom parts scale stronger, extend stronger than the top ones. You can rotate the selected parts here, like this. You can select those two and scale them down like this. So you have a very flexible box which enables you to do very complex manipul manipulations of complex geometry. These are a couple of Polygon spheres, default spheres, just slightly rotated, different scales, and uh, nothing really special. Uh, now, what if we want to do the following manipulation? Let's pick the vertices here, and the ones right here, and 
we have construction here if you hear the background noise it's a saw and uh, sometimes we hear hammering because it's a hot summer we need to keep the windows open and there's a lot of noise in the background so if we move this in in order to get a mouth sort of thing or just move it in like this we have to carefully select the vertices we can use the soft selection tool by pressing B which makes the selection a little bit more soft but still you have to um, really think about what you're selecting but it's uh, very easy with a lattice deformer let's try this out uh, so let's pick a couple of spheres like these ones here and create a lattice deformer deform lattice and currently we quite like the default resolution of um, 5 in this direction because now we go to right mouse click lattice point and we can just select those here and then move the lattice in here so we get the deformation which we wanted and it affects all geometry all geometry in the lattice so this is what the lattice deformer is ideal for it lets you deform a whole set of objects or just one object of high resolution with very simple edges and corners bye bye